What is going on, YouTube, or wherever you're listening to the podcast? Welcome to the Binks and Doodle Effect. I am one of your hosts, Binks, and joined with me, as always, Mr. Drewski Doodle, right here below me. And this week we have Chris LG or Chris BP, however he likes to be called nowadays, uh, as a returning guest. He was on the show last week. He is to my right. I think this is his fifth podcast that he is on with us. The fifth time he has made an appearance. So, uh, welcome, Chris. Welcome back uh, for those time. listening and uh, watching. Up, welcome back. We have a huge cast. I know I usually say this a lot, like every week. I always say that, but every like week. we we actually have a monster cast this week. We have like thirty different topics, and that's not an exaggeration. Not whatsoever. <laughs> It is a jammed filled podcast this week, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm going to start off with Major League Baseball real quick. Um, we are definitely New York Mets fans, so we apologize if we sound biased or if there's a lot of New York Mets uh, stuff in it, but uh, it's our show and we're fans, so, <laughs> so deal with it. Um, coming in, Cohen. What, what, what is up, Chris? Hi. Interrupting no, the flow no here. No sponsor? No, we, we have too much to say. Sponsor's going to be on the screen, man. Sponsor's going to be on the screen. Um, starting off with Cohen. New York Mets owner wants to bring back the black New York Mets jerseys. I am excited for that. I loved, yes, love those jerseys. Definitely number one favorite New York Mets jersey of all time. Hands down. If not, we had the black along with these blue ones, like mm -hmm. that's sick. Yeah, I love it. He said the black ones would be for like uh, potentially uh, special occasions or uh, Friday night home games. Would be I'm when, when they so it's not like they would be like a full time thing. But I'm all for the black jerseys coming back. Love them. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely Gorgeous. loved them. Was, the first Met jersey I ever had was black. It's the first Met jersey I think I remember as a kid of like really liking. Honestly, but, um, yeah, I mean, with the time frame they used them, and it's what it was two thousand the year we're 2000, in, two thousand twelve, I think they used those black jerseys. Even, even use them that late, but we'd have it. We'd be in twenty twenty. The Mets would have black jerseys. The Rangers have the Statue of Liberty back. Like ah, oh, we went back in time. Can't wait. Those I love those Rangers jerseys too. Those are like my favorite. Um, Cohen also has a piece of Met history that he wants to donate to the New York Met Museum. It is the Buckner Ball. If you guys don't know, nineteen eighty six game six, two outs. Um, Mookie Wilson hits a dribbler down the first baseline and it goes through Buckner's legs. Ray Knight ended up scoring the game winning run to push a game seven. And obviously the rest is history with the world series and the New York Mets, but Cohen owns that ball and it is signed by Mookie Wilson. And he wants to put that in the Mets museum. I think that's so dope. Um, I think that's awesome that he has it just shows how much yeah. a fan Did that ball worth. I have um, no idea how much that is probably worth. I mean, yeah, I have, I if you guys, imagine. if you guys are watching on YouTube, I have right behind me right here. That is a signed, and I have the, um, the uh, what is it, the authenticity paper of it. Uh, yeah, Mookie, like Mookie Wilson and Buckner signed that that picture, and that is the that play. Must, that must be tough, like, suck signing that, knowing the ball went through your legs and you just ruined And you cost the, Boston, <laughs> cost the Boston Red Sox, potentially the there's, World Series. <laughs> there's no way he signed that. It's, I, ha like, I have the authentic. I have the authenticity of of that right behind me. It's Buckner's signature and Mookie uh, Wilson's signature with uh, the ball going through Buckner's legs. It, it I can't wait. Can you just have me to sign that, like being like signed. You got to like, be a good autograph. sport. No. You if so if you were uh, really if you're Bill it. Buckner and you, you let the ball it. yeah if you if you got mossed by somebody and like someone had like a picture like a football picture of you getting legit. Like manhandled, and they're catching a touchdown for like the game winner touchdown, and you're just depressed. You're telling me you would sign that picture? It would you sting at first, but over time you get over it. Overestimate how emotion, like the emotional trauma of stuff like that. Like in sports, it happens. Be a yeah. sport. Like plus, it's gonna it's in, it it makes Bill Buckner like his name more noteworthy. Exactly. So I'm cool with it. Whatever. Um, lastly, the New York Mets signed Trevor May, relief pitcher. So we're adding some more bullpen depth. Love that move. Love he was awesome for the Twins. He'll be awesome here. Yes. Uh, moving over to the college football. We have Texas uh, Texas State 
defensive back, I and I apologize if I say the name wrong, uh, Texas State defensive back Hambrill Winters fatally shot, drug deal gone wrong, man, my man was buying some weed, um, don't know what happened, he was fatally shot though, police have two men arrested and they charged him, so thoughts and prayers out to the Winters family. Um, Sarah Fuller makes history in college, first female to play in a Power 5 football game with Vanderbilt. I don't know if you guys watched any of that game. But Did you see the kick? I, I, I saw the kick. It was horrible. It, 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 terrible. It, it, it was like a squib kick, and it was, it, was, it was terrible. The ball went like 30 yards. It was not good. I think dude, I, could, I could have done better. I'm, I'm not even like... I, I, listen, I, I don't want to like down her because like it's awesome that like she had her moment in the in the first place being a woman and you know playing football um i kind of wanted vanderbilt they vanderbilt got shut out that game so that was literally the only shit thing she did was do the kickoff in the second half and i was i just wanted i wanted vanderbilt to just get down the field to have a field goal opportunity just so she could score i was rooting vanderbilt on so i wanted to see her score and all she had was a kickoff and it was like the worst kickoff i've ever seen i don't want to like down down her at all but like it really it sucked it was bad it was a little bit of you a letdown to, but uh, you did shit on that <laughs> shouldn't have and I, like if she, i'm sure if like she had a chance to kick a field goal she probably would have done yeah like, yeah, if, yeah if, absolutely if, if kick, like like for kickoff right she like half kicked it like a soccer player would because i know she's a soccer player but like she didn't fall through with it like when she went to go kick she's like stopped she's like yeah i mean half, yeah you know? honestly like, they probably through. They probably only gave her practice with field goals, not kickoffs. Yeah, probably. With, someone, with field goals, like, you got to follow through. Like she was just like she like chipped it. So I don't know if it was supposed to be like a squib, like on intentional, but she oh. like did like a chip shot. If you watch it again, like her leg does not fully go through. So I don't know what she was doing. She was kicking mm-hmm. a soccer ball. Yeah, muscle memory. Yeah, like, listen, give her. Got to give her credit for even yeah, going definitely. out there. I don't know why more soccer players don't do you know do that just kind of on the topic right now if you're a good ass soccer player i don't know why or like if you if you guys are watching on youtube if you want to comment down below if you're a soccer player why are you guys not trying out for like a kicker in football like seriously with the with the, with the terrible talent that we have right now in the nfl of like hmm. kickers yeah like i don't it, you can't be any worse reality wise um, I can't see it being that much of an adjustment from a football to a soccer ball. You, you, you still gotta, if you can kick, you can kick. So I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Comment down below or uh, write to us on, on Twitter, BD Effect, at BD Effect. You'll see it on the screen. Um, just quickly talk about Jarrett Patterson's game, though, for college 409 rushing yards, eight touchdowns on 36 carries. Bro. Imagine that was an NFL guy and, like, you had him on fantasy. He has more tutties than the Jets. <laughs> in, in one, one game. game. How many how many fantasy points would that be? It would be 48 plus 40.9. If he was Maybe. in the if he was, if he was in the NFL, he would have had 88.9 points alone just off rushing and touchdowns that's not including any catches he caught in the backfield. That's 88.9. I know Tyreek hmm. almost had, uh, we'll get to that though. But what a game. Congratulations to that guy, Jared Patterson. Absolutely yeah, phenomenal. I, 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 Absolutely I phenomenal. 409 rushing yards, 8 touchdowns on 36 carries. Insane. That's good for ridiculous. you, dude. Good you're for you. College football, you're, huh? you're pretty good at football, man. <laughs> uh, NHL, Boychuk's career is has ended due to an eye injury that happened in 2019 to 2020. Um, Andrew, you're more of a hockey guy. How do you feel about Boychuk? I mean, I obviously he was an Islander, so like I have somewhat of resentment towards him. But like he was a fantastic hockey player, and apparently he was an awesome locker room guy. So that really sucks. You never want to see anyone go down like that. No, you never want to see um, anyone go down. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a big loss to the Islanders. It su- really sucks for him. Um, it's unfortunate. But well wishes into his retirement. Yeah, he had a, he had a nice long career. Yeah, he was he was a good player, good player. But uh, so sorry, sorry, Islander fans and. Uh, Thoughts and prayers out to the boy Chuck family. Big hole to fill. Yeah, uh, we have another female making history though in hockey. Kendall, I'm sorry if I say your name wrong. Kendall Coin Schofield. Schofield, yeah. Uh, Schofield uh, joins the Blackhawks organization as the first ever female development coach. So good for you. Hell yeah. Good for you. We will see how the Blackhawks turn out. She uh, she killed it when she was on Team USA. Yeah, so good for her. Sick. 
And uh, you mentioned um, Evandor Kane. Where is Evander he? Kane, Evander yeah. Kane. Evander Kane. Evander yes. Kane challenges Logan Paul and Jake Paul to a boxing match. Love every <laughs> second. Oh, we're gonna talk about the Jake Paul. Oh, we're, we're going right into that right now. So we're, Jake we'll Paul it. knocked out Nate Robinson. Bro, that, that should have been over in the first round. It should have been over in the first round. The ref, the ref, ruined Nate Robinson. That meme, that meme going around should not have happened because the ref should have stopped the fight. Dude, Jake There's Paul no... destroyed him. Dude, I think Jake Paul <laughs> may be the best boxer. Like not like box, but like most best celebrity boxer or best boxer influencer that is out right now. Well, he, There's no one that I can see kick his ass. Well, here's the thing. So so many people, because of how they got their start, so many people look at the Pauls and think of, like, influen- online influencer. Um, Jake Paul actually trains to be a boxer, though. It's not like he's just doing something that he you know, picked up and wanted to do it for fun. Like, Jake Paul actually wants to be a boxer, and he is has trained to be a boxer. Um... He said after that last... That what? But before that, he was an influencer. Yeah, yeah, but he always wanted to be a boxer, and he was always training towards being a boxer, so it's not like he was just some Joe Schmo on YouTube saying, listen, I could fight you type of thing, so... I'm not a fan of any of the balls, so... No, I, 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 I want... I, love I want... Balls. It's so funny. I, I, want them. I love Logan. I love Logan. I love KSI. <laughs> I want I mean, Vander Kane to beat the living shit out of both of them. <laughs> So bad. So bad. I can't stand them. Can't stand either of them. They're they're annoying, one. Bro, I'm a big fan of Jake Paul. Which one of the two brothers, because they're they're identical and I hate both of them, but which one of them um, film was in that Suicide Forest and like filmed that? That was Logan. Yeah, so I really hope he gets his ass kicked too. But I I so bad. That's all you know about him? You hope he gets his ass kicked? Yes, that's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. Okay, you're just biased. Anyway. But yeah, what? What? The man no, you're killed know. dead bodies who committed suicide. I don't need no more than that. He was in... Okay, I'm not going to defend it. Anyway, but yo, Jake Paul's also banging Julia Rose. Oh my god, what I would do to be him. I hope Sam watches this. I, I, oh, for, 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 for Chris's <laughs> fiance, Sam, I'm going to just script, you know. Just cover your ears on that, on like that, that part. part. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna show, that. Showcase. Bro. Anyway, I'm happy oh, you. Julia I'm happy Rose you brought that up, though, Chris. Time. I'm happy you brought that up. Yes, absolutely. Julia Rose, absolute ting. I'm happy you brought that up, though, because Jake Paul said in training for his fight against Nate Robinson that he did not have sex for months to build up. See, mm-hmm. you're shaking that your head, but there are certain bodybuilders who have said that before they actually go work out at a gym, they watch like an hour of porn and don't do... I'm sorry, Andrew. I got you as you were drinking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, they, <laughs> they watch like an hour of porn and they don't do anything and they just, <laughs> they, they just watch it and get aroused and the testosterone that builds up helps them when they actually strength train because now they have extra you know they have built up extra testosterone and it actually helps you in development training so jake paul said while training for this fight he did not have sex for months with a girlfriend who looks like julia rose he literally said it it on his the paul uh the podcast that he literally didn't have sex for two weeks he didn't do months. Oh, see, I, I heard months. Work. I heard months. But if he, I, if he's saying it on no, weeks, then, okay. Still, for someone like Julia Rose, man, <laughs> damn, dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Listen, it's an actual thing. Like I said, bodybuilders have used that technique. So, oh, it, I, I've it, looked at that, but there's also people who say the opposite. So like, either way, I think it's stupid. Do it, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your Just life. Have fun. Go to the gym. <laughs> uh, staying on the boxing match, we got Mike Tyson, who had a who was ruled a draw, which was absolutely bullshit because Mike Tyson Ridiculous. won that fight, hands down. Mike Tyson won that fight. But the best part was that he said in the interview afterwards on that fight that he was high, quote unquote, high as fuck. <laughs> My man lit up a huge joint before smoke before uh, before fighting. And he said he needs to be high because it keeps him calm in the ring. Because if he wasn't calm, he would end up killing someone. So my man needs to be high to not kill someone in the boxing he ring. He needs to go to a mental institute. This is coming it's from the same normal. guy who bit off a guy's ear. Yeah, this is not normal. Like people, He should not get praised for this. He needs to go get evaluated. <laughs> Good for you, though. I, I think Mike Tyson won that fight. I don't. I oh, can't, yeah, it, it wasn't a draw. 
at all. <laughs> Mike Tyson won. It's bullshit. Um, moving over, though, to the NFL. We have... The what a week. Week. What a week. We have, starting off, the Lions fire head coach Matt Patricia and general manager Bob Quinn. Uh, I never thought Matt Patricia was a good coach, ever. So that was most, you know, that, yeah. that was needed. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the Lions do now without him. Yeah, I think they, they'll be. Be- win I, I think they'll be better without Patricia. I think Patricia was terrible, uh, but that's just my opinion. Um, the they got destroyed by Houston on Thanksgiving, yeah, and really. so did Dallas. So Gibson though with three touchdowns, uh, most by Antonio a rookie Gibson. since 1948. Good for him. Good for him. Highlight show, Antonio Gibson. This man is going to be a second round fantasy draft pick next year, if not earlier. Hot take. I, I don't know about Hot all take. that. I, I don't know about first round. Maybe a late second, second, second late round. late second round, early third potentially. But uh, I don't know, man. With the way running back committees are looking, you got a you got a legitimate number one right there. Uh, well, someone who will be in the first round, uh, Henry. He ate up the Colts. He put the number one rated, I think, or one, number one or two, Colts defense into a paper shredder. He destroyed them. He he ran all yeah. over them. He, it was like they weren't there. Mm-hmm. He hit three tutties in, in, what, a quarter and a half? And, uh, of course, he decided to have that type of game when I versed him and I needed a W in fantasy. Same. So, so thank you to you, Derrick Henry, for... Um, Potentially making me lose my first round bye in one of my fantasy leagues. Thanks. Uh, he knocked me out of the playoff. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Uh, playoff sorry contention, I should say. Sorry to hear that, brother. Yeah. Um, DK Metcalf being compared to Megatron. How do you feel about that, guys? He's better. The, auda- better. the audacity to say you that he is better than Megatron. Say he's better right now. I uh, think he has a good chance of being better at the end of his career. He's built like Megatron, and he is Bro, definitely he is good. A- Bro, he is a unit. <laughs> he also, uh, no, he also dropped a pass in the end zone that costed Megatron, yeah. uh, DK Metcalf owners like eight points. Well, plus. He drops a lot. The audacity. Yeah, but there's only a second year in the league. He, I think he's going to be good, but to say that he is better than Megatron at his point Bro, in the game. See, do you, you know, I've never really seen. I wasn't really that big into football when Megatron was playing, so I can't say shit. Dude, oh, just look at just look at a Cal, um, a Calvin Johnson highlight video. Yes. I know he was a boss. He is a, like, he was he DK was Metcalf. a unit. DK Metcalf is built. He's good. He's going to be a great wide receiver. I'm not no, no, no opinion, doubt. But you DK can't... Metcalf should be the first wide receiver off the board in fantasy next year. In you know my what I hate, you know what I hate Tyler Lockett also puts up numbers some weeks and it's so annoying. Yeah, yeah but you know what? There's enough offense to for both of them to put up numbers. I don't know if he's the first wide receiver to go. I, I mean, Michael Thomas, I don't even have in the top three anymore. You don't think, you I, think Ty, I think you go Tyreek think. Hill before. It would be DK, Tyreek, and um, what's his face? McLaurin? No. No. Oh, my God. Oh. You know who I hate? You know who's on my hated list right now? Who? Will fucking Fuller. Oh, yeah. That hurt. You ruined my fantasy chances, you scumbag. Suspended. Uh, what? We're gonna move on. Why do you need no? <laughs> why do you need performance enhancing? Oh, by the way, the third the third receiver I was thinking about was Devontae Adams. Yes. Yeah. Oh um, God. speaking of receivers, you know what quarterback had his full squad for the first time in his career? Steve, give it fucking up. He sucks. Just let it go. I don't know why you're uh, even talking about the Jets. The Jets are own eleven. Sam let Darnold. Him die. Yeah. <laughs> Sam Darnold for the first time ever had all his wide receivers healthy in a game, and you only put up three points for the New York Jet offense. So for all of you Darnold lovers, you said he never had a full wide receiving squad. He his, He's better as the Jets quarterback offensive-wise, blah, 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 blah. Three points, full squad. Darnold's not the move. He needs to move on. I was right from draft day. Thank you very much. Um, speaking of quarterbacks, though, Broncos... Can we we just discuss the Broncos situation real quick? Uh, great. That was a great game. Very very humorous. So if you guys watch it, they didn't complete their first pass until the second half. Think of that for a second. 
The Broncos did not have a completed pass until the second half, and for the entire game, that one catch, completed pass in the second half was their only completed pass in the entire game. Fried. I, there's no words for that. It's, but it's, it's so funny. Abysmal. <laughs> it is so I'm pretty funny. sure all three of us could have had more completions. Like, Arguably. I, it, it's, it, it's, that, it was terrible. There's no words. Dude, COVID decimated the quarterbacks <laughs> this week. <laughs> decimated them. Well, if you really want to talk about decimated them, can you talk about Herbert? No, oh, Jesus Christ. He's in pieces. Listen, the head coach... For, I don't even. I can't even. I don't. Off the top of my head, I don't even know the head coach's name for the Chargers. Um, he should that that decision to go for a quarterback sneak. D- why? Dumb. Why? Why in that situation? You can't win the game. You can't. And then the, the make matters worse. You decide to go for a quarterback sneak, but your entire offensive line thinks it's a pass. So yeah, they drop. So they the drop same back to pass, and Herbert just got pummeled by that defensive line. Your offensive yeah. line comes to you while you are going in for a quarterback sneak to just meet four 250-plus pound black guys just pummeling you. Well, they're black guys for sure, yeah. Statistically, they are, statistically, they are bigger than white men. So, in, a, in that situation, it's literally what happened. Yeah, literally what happened. I feel um, bad for Herbert. He could have been, like, I, killed. Hey, listen, he has less cushion in his helmet now because he cut his hair off, so, like, that was dangerous. It was a stupid play to begin with. Just take the knee. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, yeah, fuck. <laughs> the poor kid. I would have literally shit my pants, like, involuntarily. I feel so bad for Herbert. That was a hit that he should have never taken. And yeah. he, you risk... the Because he's going to be the future of the Chargers. 100%. Oh, you risk, yeah, you agree, risk your franchise quarterback... On a play that means absolutely nothing for you during the season. There's there's no doubt in my mind that him in the locker room after the game was that like Ace Ventura when he was pretending to be insane in the insane asylum. <laughs> Dude, if I'm Herbert, I'm going at my head coach. Oh yeah. I'm going at him. Unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Um the Browns, Baker Mayfield, still an absolute bust. If it wasn't for their run game, they don't they don't win anything. Yeah, if, the run game and their defense wins them games. I, it's I, so bad. I love the meme that has happened with the, the wide open wide receivers in the end zone. And it's right, right underneath it, it says, This play resulted in an incomplete pass. Baker's garbage. <laughs> Baker's, is garbage. B- Baker's garbage. He is terrible. Thank he God got for good him. commercials, though. He's got he good commercials. He's got great he commercials. And you know what? He should just stick to doing commercials. That guy is bad. <laughs> he is so bad. Uh, and you, like, I don't get how you can be that bad with like a. I mean, they don't have OBJ now, but they had a good receiving core. I, it it, oh, it makes me so mad. I I, I wanted I, him to do well. I still think OBJ is overrated, but I mean, you have someone so, like OBJ. OBJ you have someone. Like, you have someone like OBJ, and you have Landry on the other side with yeah. the running back committee. There's no the reason we should be bad. Yeah, no. You got Hooper and Njoku. Mm-hmm. If if the Browns had a somewhat decent quarterback, they would be. So much more of a contender of the playoffs than they actually are. Imagine if Burrow would have been a year, a couple years earlier, and they would have had Joe Burrow. Oh yeah, the Browns would be so much better with Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow is an actual quarterback who can actually play the yeah. game. So, and I know we we discussed it last week. It's 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 very upsetting that he's gone. But yeah, it sucks. But like it, he he he's he is a quarterback who's actually going to do something in the league. Baker Mayfield is going to be a forgotten name in the yeah. league, maybe three or four years down the line. The, He's not going to be anything. He was a college quarterback, and that's all he's ever going to be. Yeah. Um, Sam Darnold wasn't even a college quarterback. Anyway, um, Matthew Adams on the Colts ejected for decking a Titans player. I don't know if you guys saw that at all. It wasn't even like, like it wasn't even like highlighted. But my, I just want to go. I want to. I want to know what goes through football players' head. You have a protective helmet that is supposed to withstand hits. What makes you think throwing a punch is going to do a uh. thing? <laughs> If anything, that's hurting you more for hitting the helmet. I, uh, I, I don't know. It's freaking stupid. I don't know. What um, one of the bigger news is they're getting waffle stomped. Yeah, literally, because Derrick Henry was just shoving their his you know big old dick down their throat. Um, <laughs> Giants are in first place. If you would, if you would have told me in week thirteen. 
going into week 13 of the NFL that the New York Giants were going to be in first place. I may have actually believed you, honestly. Um, but called it. Uh, back, Go back five, six weeks. Did I you? I called it. Did you actually yes, call I it? I said the Giants are going to win the division, just like I said the Dolphins are going to start to do really well. Listen, I hope the Giants win the division. I am all on board for Big Blue. I either want them Did or Washington the football. Dolphins? dolphins are going to turn it up, which they have. Dolphins are in the playoffs right now. I did also they not? predict their win against San Francisco. You did predict that. Are the Dolphins in? I think the Dolphins are like the sixth seed right now. I think they are. I think, I think they, they have a wild card spot. I think they have yeah. a wild card spot. Good for them. Good for Miami. I am rooting for them, man. Oh, wait. We got some breaking news, boys. Okay. Breaking news. Uh, unfortunately, it's the NBA, which neither me and Steve know anything about. And Chris, I don't think you're any better. Oh, but, LeBron's not. Uh, no. Uh, the Houston Rockets have sent Russell Westbrook to the Wizards for John Wall in a first round pick. I do know that Russell Westbrook is really good. I, I know. I do know that John good. Wall is also pretty good. Good but for not as good as Russell Westbrook. Good LeBron for signed a two year deal, 85 mil, baby, to the Lakers. That's a lot of money. Like he needs it. Um, also, the Mets have agreed to a one year deal with Stephen Metz. They're giving him a lot of money for. I mean, actually, I don't know. I'm conflicted there because he had a good end of the season in 2019. Bro, why what's, what's the, the deal? Fuck are we keeping Kazelman? He's a reliever. We need He's relievers. Reliever. Yeah. I Kazelman is high card. Yes, I know, but we need people in the bullpen. We can't have a bullpen of four people. What was the deal with Mets for, for the uh, one news? year, five million dollars? Well, that's not that bad. Five million for one year. And he's it's, gonna be he, he's gonna be long relief, and you know what? Money really isn't a problem for the Mets right now because our owner Fair wants enough. to spend it. <laughs> we have no cap. He, he just wants to spend it, so I don't really. I'm not really concerned with money. It's yeah, not like yeah, it's true. not like the Will Ponds where like that five million could have went towards an actual deal. We yeah. It, so fair enough. Um. Anyway. Anyway, going back to football, we're gonna highlight probably the biggest performance of the week of Tyreek Hill. Monster game. Monster game. Thirteen receptions. Two hundred and sixty nine yards. Three touchdowns, his longest touchdown being a 75-yarder. The man is an animal. He's unreal. Unreal. He's, so he's a cheetah. He is a cheetah. Um, probably, uh, he is the be- he's the best wide receiver right now. Yeah, in the game. I think, yeah, Tyreek definitely. Hill. And you know what? It's also wild. Like, the Bucks, the Bucks defense that was so good over the last couple weeks has been terrible. Like, they were, they And were I awful. love that. Especially in the coverage. They're, if they're, you were watching... They were highlighting it on ESPN. They were playing like zone coverage, and their free safety would like back off towards center of the field. Tyreek Hill would cut to the right, and he has the entire field in front of him with his mm-hmm. speed. All Mahomes has to do is lob it in front of him, yeah. and he's gonna don't catch worry. it. True, don't worry. It's all Tom Brady's fault. It's not Tom Brady's fault at all. But that defense. You, was- you just want to see Tampa Bay just rot. I well, I want to see any any team that Tom Brady's on rot, but. Mm-hmm. I it's not Tom Brady's fault about the loss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you need to have someone glued to Tyreek Hill and have someone in front of him. Mm-hmm. They did none of that, and that's why he dropped. All t- he had a quarterback <laughs> yardage game in, as a wide receiver. Yeah, the the only thing I had issues with, with that game is the three roughing the passer calls in the fourth quarter. Um, all three were it, it, the terrible calls. I mean, Mahomes threw a pick. That should not. And I believe me. I was rooting for the for the Chiefs with everything I got. And when he threw that pick, and they yeah. I saw roughing the passer, I actually got mad because that wasn't roughing the passer. It's not you. The whole you can't touch the quarterback's helmet as light as it possibly could be. Yeah. It should not draw a flag. Mahomes got tapped. It was a simple love tap to the helmet. That should have been an actual interception. There should have been no flag. That drive should have stopped. And then Brady got two gifts. Same thing. A slight tap to the head. It's 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 and it, and the, but, 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 but what's worse yeah. about the Brady one was that it almost gave Tampa the win. I was losing my mind that Brady was going to win this game off of two bullshit flags. And that is why I had the issue. I don't agree with Mahomes' either, and I wanted the Chiefs to win. Pa- roughing the passer in today's age, I've said it in other podcasts, we should just, if you're going to play like that at this point, then you don't touch the quarterback at all and just give him flags. Because uh, one of the one of the ones that Brady got hit, it was the, the, def- the, the, the defender trying to get past the offensive line and his hand goes up to go around him and it just how happened to brush the back of Brady's helmet. Oh my God. 
you little girl. Like, that's not a flag, and that should not have been awarded 15 yards for him. I'm sorry. It's, it, 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 that I have such a big issue with that. But Look, I'm, it's bad, but at least it's consistently bad. It, it, it really is, though. I mean, that no, and, pa- yeah, that and pass interference. It, that and pass interference. True. Big, big pet peeves. Before he started that segment, you saw the blood fucking spilled <laughs> in his eyes of just pure rage. Like, he started, like, you saw it. Like, he didn't want to go into it. But then you saw it. Just, he just relived that moment, and he just exploded. And I you just gotta let him just gotta let him just release the steam. <laughs> I do feel a lot better by saying it though. I do feel you're so much better. You're gonna this when you're editing this, and you're gonna see yourself filled. Like, this is <laughs> because Tom Brady his whole career has been gifted bullshit, and I'm so over it. But this is the first time in Tom Brady's career that he has lost three consecutive home games in a row. And um, those are the stats I like to see. Uh, also on Tom Brady, he did not. He he was under fire last week for not shaking anyone's hand, and he claims it was because he was scared of the virus. But we saw him go out and shake Mahomes' hand this week. So I don't know if it was because he was tired of the media heckling him, or if he thought the virus was on vacation. But it is what it is with Tom Brady. I think he's just a sore loser. And I could give a shit if he shakes someone's hand or not. I I I don't care, but anything anything negative about Tom Brady, yes, I'm, gonna, I know. I'm gonna bring up, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go through. Uh, well, fin- all I want to do is shake the other team's hand after I play like a hockey game or something. So I, would, I just wish they would do away with that. Oh, I don't believe me. I I don't shake anyone's well, hand. I, I don't you shake anyone's hand. Change. I'm not shaking anyone's hand. Oh, we'll I don't. Sh- in, well, we'll lose in a recreational softball game, and my man will be the first person to say, f- like, F them and just not shake anyone's hand. Oh, no, I, I'm the first to admit it. I'm the, when we used to play recreational softball, if you we, if we lost, I, thought, I, dude, no, but I'm at least consistent. I don't care what anyone says. I'm not shaking your hand regardless. I stay no, in the dugout. No, 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 no. I don't, I've never, sh- I never shake when anyone's hands. Never. Chris, no I've, hands I've never COVID. shaken hands. No, no, this is no, this is before COVID. No. I, I, yeah, I never shook anyone's hand, and I used to. The other team used to be like, "Oh, yo, 43, 43. And I would just ignore them in the dugout. I, I never shook anyone's hand. I, I don't care. But um, Steelers remain undefeated, as <laughs> as we as we pretty much thought. Um, their offense did not look good tonight. No, you know what's wild? If Lamar and um. Mark Andrews played. I think the Ravens win that game. I think they win that game. I think the Steelers are a good team. I don't think they are a Super Bowl team because I still think the Chiefs are going to go to Dude, the Super Bowl. Dude, they're barely getting by. I feel like they're getting like wins that are like under. like. The Ste- like getting close. Listen, the Steelers have probably the best defense in the league. And yeah. their offense... Their offense is good, but I don't think their offense is good enough to go in the playoffs. That's just my hot take on that. I don't care that they're eleven and zero. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's it's weird. Like I don't. I definitely don't think they beat the Chiefs. No, I don't oh, think so either. I think the I Chiefs' think, offense outplays the the best defense. I also think they honestly they might have a tough time against the Titans. They may. If I'm being honest, here. you never know. Uh, there's a lot of teams they might have a tough time against. I mean, the Steelers have like one of the best run, if not the best run defense. I mean, so I mean. The Titans really just have Henry. I mean, granted, you have Brown on the Titans who've been who's been balling out, but like if they do, they really do have a tough defense. It's do. the Titans yeah. don't have as many weapons though as like someone like the Chiefs. The Chiefs have a weapon on every part of the field. Yeah, which so, I mean, the, the Steelers do have that that wide receiving core. Um, but like I said, tonight especially, and th- this is why we were uploading when we are. Because of the whole Steeler game, that's why we're a day late, so we apologize. But the Steelers have dropped dropped so many passes tonight, especially yeah. in the red zone. They they were just coming away with either three points and not scoring at all. And if you want to win a Super Bowl, you can't do that. And I feel like the Steelers all year just have had they've had slow offenses. I mean, they they almost lost to Dallas. Um, did they almost lose to Jacksonville as well because of? I, I can't off the top of my head think game. earlier in the game. But the, the, the Steelers' offense, like I said, is good. It, I don't think it's Super Bowl good. So yeah, I mean, I we'll, 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 we'll obviously see in the, in the future weeks. But Which, I, if you saw, we did have a Twitter question about the Steelers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. What is it? What was that Twitter question? And we will, we will present the Twitter question on the bottom of the screen to the right of Mr. Drewski Doodle. Mr. Atmaggio695 asks, no. it might be a crazy question, which I love, 
But who do you guys think is the best wide receiver fantasy wise out of Pittsburgh? Johnson and Claypool can both go nuts, but Juju is still who he is. Thank you for your question. Um, best fantasy wise receiver in Pittsburgh. Juju. I want. I don't know. It could be Juju or Claypool. Clay, Juju is more consistent, but Claypool will pop off more. Dawson I think. dropped. Dude, he dropped so many passes today. It's definitely not Deontay Johnson. And I was big on him in the offseason. I thought this was going to be a big year for him, which it has been decent. But Chase Claypool will kind of put him down. I, I think Claypool. Claypool is a boom I, bust. I I feel like it's got it's, you, you got to ride with Juju. I guess it per- depends personally. what you're looking for. If you're looking for a possible boom or if you're looking for consistency. I rather Juju is going to be the most consistent, but he will never – I don't think he'll ever pop as like Claypool will. Mm-mm. Now, you, you got to think Juju's always going to be covered by the best defensive back. Yes, exactly. Juju, that was why he Juju's, was so nasty. Juju, yeah. Antonio Brown was on the team. Exactly, and that's what people don't understand. People are like, oh, no, Juju just fell. I'm like, no, Juju just now is getting covered by the best of the best. When A.B. was on the other side – Juju had more freedom to do what he needed to do. That's why Juju was popping off with AB. Because AB, look, because AB the had the attention. Happening with uh, DeAndre Hopkins. Mm-hmm. He'll have these games where he doesn't get much, but then like, Christian Kirk or someone will pop. Yeah, because the, uh, uh, your, your attention on, on the, is on the number one, which is Hopkins. Yeah. So it, I, it, I personally, to answer that question, I'm going to say I'm gonna say Juju. I still I think he's the best fantasy wide receiver. I I feel like it's backwards for Houston because, you know, Fuller's popping up. He was popping off, but you had Hopkins on the team, even though, like, he still was doing pretty good. Yeah, but also, I mean, you got – I don't know. That's, that's a little, I think it's a little different because I think Will Fuller, uh, aside from the PEDs, is one of the most underrated receivers in football. Like, I think he's genuinely, like, a top-10 wide receiver. Um, but he's just getting shot. Like, he, he, he was competing with Hopkins. Um, Do you he, think the Jets get their first win this week? They're who not going to win. Who the Jets playing? Oakland. Oakland. No. That's Las Vegas. But, but now, no, oh, Derek, Carr, Derek Carr just got spanked by John Gruden is going to never fumble ever again. <laughs> so the Raiders were actually one of the biggest upsets of the week that we have. We're going to show you the graphic right now. The Patriots beat the Cardinals 2017. And the Falcons destroyed the Raiders 43-6. to So definitely the biggest upsets of the week. Um, Raiders looked like they had nothing going at all they couldn't keep the ball every time we checked they were punting or they turned no, every time, every, no every time we checked young hoku was just knocking down some field goals he is probably the best kicker in the league this year 100 mm-hmm. 100 he's no, he was like he was the 100 he was probably the best kicker last year like the last part of the league like the last part like the last half of the year that's when he started making his name bro he was his he, dude, his onside kicking, he was like dominating. He had like three good onside kicks. And then, like, he was never really bad. Like, it's just this guy is just nuts at field goals. Like, yeah. three years ago, I was like, Money Myers. Jason Myers was cracked on the Jets. We probably had the best kicker. We let that man walk. We just let him go. I'm... And he's not doing that. He's not doing that great on uh, Seattle because he only has 15 field goals this year because Seattle always pushes in on fourth down. Russell Wilson's like, no. We're gonna go go. On yeah, Pete Carroll's like aggressive with. Like on the Jets, we're a bunch of bitches, and we'll if we can get three, we'll take those three because we don't get much. So that's why he was kicking field goals left and right. So that's why I kind of hate taking any kickers on like good team like Justin, like uh, Tucker, great kicker. He was just on like a team of Lamar Jackson who's aggressive, you know. But, like well, Falcons. That's why I love Will Lutz. It's my favorite kicker in the league, regardless of taking him fantasy wise. Oh, every year I love Will Lutz. Think I personally think overall. I know young. I know Koo is having a great, you know, year. I think overall Will Lutz is the best kicker in the entire league. He is that man is money every time. But so is Koo. I Lutz, will be purchasing a Rodrigo Blankenship jersey. <laughs> Swaggiest. Respect. Swaggy. Those are bottle caps on his eyes. Let me just say. <laughs> Those are absolute bottle caps. They look like my glasses if I had to wear glasses. <laughs> like, those are actual bottle caps. My man is blind. But we'll, we're going we're gonna come to come to a close on this cast. Um, Thursday night games. Andrew, your picks in Thanksgiving. You went 3-0. Give me the turkey. Which now, when I go to my notes, you will be 9-0. And five on the year. I am eight and six because I went one and two. What up, Chris? You are one and four. No, two. I'm sorry, two and three. My mistake. 
We're two and three. Um, So this Thursday night was moved to Tuesday because the Baltimore played today on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Uh, So it's Dallas-Baltimore on Tuesday night. Andrew, you are in the lead, so you get the honors of going first. Who are you taking? You got you Cowboys, taking? Ravens, baby. Oh God, it, I don't know if Lamar Jackson's gonna play or not. I don't care if he's playing. I'm taking the Ravens. I know I'm saying I'm letting you go first, but I'm going with the Ravens. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was probably gonna pick the Ravens too. I'm not. You know? I, I can't pick the Cowboys in that situation. But I just have this this craving to be ballsy. But no, no I'm that's gonna, all right. I'm gonna I'll fulfill your Ravens. craving. I'll go Dallas. All right, so we have two Ravens, and uh, Dallas is gonna stun the world. I hope you're right. I like there's this little voice in my head that's telling me that Dallas is going to win this game. That's one of those. Listen, uh, Dallas actually hasn't games. been too terrible with Dalton. It's just their defense, though. Like, and I, I just think the Ravens' defense in general. I mean, I don't know. I think the Ravens. No, won. I mean they, they, they held the Steelers. Yeah, they can definitely hold the freaking Cowboys. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, about, yeah no, I'm, I'm locking. I'm going to lock in Baltimore. Yeah, I'm not doing that too. It's not an exciting. Not a. Not a Take a shot week. No, definitely not. I'm willing to take the shot now that I'm losing, but like I'm Ravens is definitely a safe bet. Yeah, I got to pick my battles here. Like I said, I don't care if I lose the bet. I just want to win as many games as I possibly can for the Mm -hmm. season. So, Um, but other than that, do you guys have any closing remarks? It's definitely one of the longer podcasts that we have. Um, hockey season's a couple a month and a half away. Let's get it. Yeah, hopefully, if it starts on January first, I did see something where they made delay January first. Yeah, they're aiming man now. I think for February first. Yeah, so hopefully yeah, that doesn't yeah. get pushed back too much longer. But hockey season will be around the corner for us. Hopefully, Chris, do you have any parting words? Thank you for being on the show once again. Thanks for having me, Chief. And uh, good luck in all your fantasy leagues because I'm gonna need it. You know, I'm gonna need some good luck. But I hope you guys all uh get what you need out there because I'm a, I'm in a I'm in a struggle territory right now and uh. Hope you guys are doing better than me. Yeah, it doesn't help that it doesn't help that yours truly has beaten you two weeks in a row. Um, however, okay. <laughs> however, thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. Uh, we you really brought it. that up. This is hot. <laughs> <laughs> you had the audacity to, to ruin my ending speech like that. I needed like, I needed to flinch this week, and you're <laughs> and I didn't. But uh, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. Binks and Doodle Effect uploads every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Like I said, we're doing it this this time on Thursday because of the Steeler game this week. Kept getting pushed back. Um, if you're listening, uh, wherever you listen to podcasts, leave us a five-star review. If we see it, we will give you a shout-out. As always, you can always reach out to us on Twitter if you have any um, topics you want to hear, or you can comment down below on YouTube. Any topics you would like to hear, please always write in. We love answering your questions. So thank you, uh, Maggio for uh this week's question that we did answer and i hope we answered to your satisfaction um but yeah thanks for watching thanks for listening and until next week guys peace out peace out